Good morning, everyone, and welcome. We gather here this morning not simply to examine the President's budget request, but to begin to lay out a vision for the future of NASA and human exploration. As we begin the process of putting together a roadmap for the future of NASA, there is one vital question that this committee should examine. Should NASA focus primarily inwards or outwards beyond lower Earth orbit? Since the end of the last administration, we have seen a disproportionate increase in the amount of federal funds that have been allocated to the Earth Science Program at the expense of and in comparison to exploration and space operations, planetary science, heliophysics, and astrophysics, which I believe are all rooted in exploration and should be central to the core mission of NASA. As I observed at our last hearing, the first priority for the space component of this subcommittee is to work to refocus NASA's energies on its core priority of exploring space. I know that is a, that is a passion of the professionals at this fine institution. I see good signs that the current goals set out for human exploration are being achieved as witnessed in December with the incredibly successful launch of the Orion EFT-1, and yesterday at Orbital's solid rocker motor test in Utah, the engine that will power the space launch system into deep space. But we need to use that momentum and get back to the hard sciences, to manned space exploration, and to the innovation that has been integral to the mission of NASA. We also need to provide the men and women that work at NASA with a clear and consistent long-term mission objectives so that they do not find themselves continually pouring time and energy into projects only to see them swept up and carried away by the ever-changing winds of politics. Science needs to drive NASA's mission rather than the political winds of Washington. Short-changing these projects will surely have an adverse impact on encouraging our nation's best and brightest to continue to want to work with NASA. As the chairman of this subcommittee, I'm looking forward to being an outspoken champion not only for NASA and not only for the Johnson Space Center, but for everyone within the NASA family who plays a key role in advancing human exploration and promoting the hard sciences. As former NASA astronaut Dr. Mike Massimino mentioned at our last hearing, young Americans are interested in space-related STEM careers and see themselves as future space entrepreneurs. It's critical that we begin to refocus the core priorities of NASA so that greater and exciting new opportunities can emerge and be realized. It is time for man once again to leave the safety of the harbor and to further explore the deep uncharted waters of deep space. Now 